Now we have a GMA exclusive. If you're at home, please stop what you're doing. You're going to want to see this. A man paralyzed from the neck down, walking again, thanks to a new medical innovation that could bring hope to so many families. Will Reeve is back with this remarkable story. I know it hits home for you. It really does, and it's an honor to tell it, and we should get right to it because it is big news. In conjunction with the piece you're about to see, the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota is publishing the results of a stem cell trial. The first patient in the trial is Chris Barr, paralyzed from the neck down nearly three years ago, told he would never walk again. He was ready to take his own life. With love and support from his family, Chris held on and started to fight. Now, thanks to this potentially groundbreaking treatment he received, he can fight on his own two feet. It's a life unimaginable. Sit still. Don't shift your weight. Don't scratch your nose or scroll on your phone. Don't move at all. Imagine waking up and suddenly this is your new life, your every day, your forever. I think I remember driving to the beach that morning. I only know what everyone told me, you know, what happened afterwards. For Chris Barr, young, successful, active, it was a surfing accident in February 2017. It's exactly like it is in the movies where, you know, it's like a fish island opening up and the doctor says, uh, you're paralyzed from the neck down and you've had a really bad neck injury. So the prognosis was, was bad. Um, and bad meaning, you know, probably a 95 to 97 percent chance that I'll have nothing below my neck. So lifetime of no movement. Exactly. I asked my wife for permission to pull the plug. I said, yes, I will support whatever you want to do, but can you give us just a little time, just a little bit of time? And you said yes. The new norm, rehab, physical therapy, months of small improvements, glimmers of hope. First a toe, then a leg, even his hands. Then the progress plateaued. You ask yourself, is that all there is? Is this all the further we're going to go? Is this, is this it? So very, very dark nights of the soul at that time. Then where'd the light come back in? Dr. Biden. <laughs> the phone call from Dr. Biden. Dr. Muhammad Biden, a spinal cord researcher, leading an innovative trial at the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. In the potentially historic study, Chris would be patient number one. Patient number one? Yeah. There's got to be some anxieties associated with that. None. None. You, you got to understand, you've got absolutely nothing to lose. I mean, this is exactly why I stuck around, was to do something. Stem cells from Chris's own stomach fat were injected into his spinal cord to regenerate and repair the injury. But what happened next is potentially groundbreaking news this morning. How soon did you see improvement from that procedure? It was fast. It was fast. I felt it going in. I felt it in my legs. I hadn't felt anything in my legs for, you know, for almost a year. Can you raise this leg? We do all the testing and all the numbers just jumped off the charts. After we treated him, the improvement started to come quickly. If you push down on my knees, let me blow your mind. Wow. Whoa. Uh. Wow. And those improvements began to come very rapidly. Hold on, hold on. All right. Wow. You ready? Then a milestone some might call miraculous. Chris Barr was doing what he and many thought would never happen again. He was walking. Does it feel good? Does it feel nice to just stand? And... Yeah, it does. Uh. Never thought you'd do this again. I'm telling you. You're, you're standing and walking. We're living it. Well, this is, this is a step forward. And, you know, I don't know if these are, are baby steps or, you know, Neil Armstrong steps, but they're absolutely steps in the right direction. And like I said, in, in a place where there was just hopelessness, um, you know, stuff is happening. Can you high five? Right now, there is no cure for spinal cord injury. Too slow. Oh, wow. Is this a breakthrough? This is a first step in developing a breakthrough. Should we take a walk back? Give it a long day. Progress is measured in decades. But for Chris Barr, patient number one, it's measured in steps. A future he imagined confined to a wheelchair changed, now brighter. Trying Whoa. to moonwalk. Moon <laughs> Come on, you said you'd oh, do now it. Now I have to do 